What I do? Dream Team, it's your boy D. Neo back with another reaction video, guys. We are here with one of our guys. I rock with this man heavily, but it's been a while since I reacted to him. I'm sorry. Well, here we are. We're back. We got our boy Zach Rushing. Parent Teacher Conference Part 1. I'm excited because this man be killing me. Well, uh, before we jump into it, what I need you guys to do is hit subscribe. Ring the notification. Get a video. A thumbs up. So it gets suggested, guys. I got social media, Patreon in the corner. Put all the links down in the description. If you want to subscribe, all you got to do is hit the link. Follow me. Talk to me. I love talking to you guys. You guys are the most incredible team. And I'm human. I talk back. What we got, Zach? All right, let's give y'all a little bit of an insight on what's going on in Zach's world today. Are y'all ready for this? All right, so about three nights ago, my what? buddy and his wife had to go to a PTA meeting. So what does Zach do? I still don't know why they let me do this, but he asked me, he said, hey, can you come watch your boy? Hell yeah, I'll come watch my nephew. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm more than happy to, yeah. So I went over there. Now, while I was there, it was a school night. On school nights, when you're young, you have this bullshit called homework. Now. I wanted to play Mario Kart, but playing Mario Kart by yourself is kind of like dating your sister. It's kind of gay. So I didn't want to do that. <laughs> playing Mario Kart by yourself is kind of like dating your sister. It's kind of gay. Mario Kart by yourself is kind of like dating your sister. It's kind of gay. So I didn't want to do that. So in order for him to be able to play Mario Kart with me, I had to help him with his homework. Mm -hmm. Now, it's really easy to get kids to do their homework when you're the cool uncle. Because you can be like, hey, look, let's go ahead and knock this out real quick. And then we can go play Mario Kart. Oh, so it was real easy. You know, I helped him. I mean, he's, he's young. You know what I'm saying? It was stuff like, it was multiplication tables. It was like three times four and five times six. Stuff like that. Easy so we went ahead and knocked that out like it wasn't nothing. And he is <laughs> smart. He knows what he's doing. Like he knows his multiplication tables. So I, I was really excited about it. Then this morning, my little my little nephew called me. He goes, yeah, he's not really my nephew, but I call him my nephew. He called me. He said, Uncle Zach. I said, What's up, little man? He said, I failed my homework assignment. What? Mm -hmm. He, he said, yeah, I got an F on it. I said, how'd you get an F on it? I double checked at work and I'm not in third and fourth grade or whatever. I think he's in third. <laughs> I'm not in third grade. I, know I bet. I bet. Know what I'm saying? Because I don't understand it. I don't under David, the teacher wanted him to show his work on the paper or a separate piece of paper showing his work. And I never get it because I, I, me, math wasn't hard. Like I, I memorized all my time table. I memorized so much stuff. And it's like, now they want you to show every piece of work. You're like, no, I did that part in my head. Why do I need to show? You know what I'm saying? So I bet it's that, that always frustrated me to know he is. But we are gonna see, that's just my guess. Great, or whatever, I think he's in third. I'm not in third grade. I know them answers was right. He said, it, it, it says on the paper that I have to show my work. I, I told, I, boy, that stuff right there heats me up, so, because if you can do it in your head, you can do it in your head. You understand, some people cheat and I get the answer, but no, like, no, what do you need, what do you need to show my work for? Put the answers on the board, I'll come do it. I'll show you that it's easy. I know them answers was right. He said, it, it, it says on the paper that I have to show my work. So you're telling me right now, because I didn't give him the answers to this, to, to this homework. You're telling me right now that we're punishing our kids for getting the right answer to something. And she wrote on the paper, because I talked to her, I talked to his dad. She wrote on the paper that it wasn't done the way she instructed him to do. I don't give a shit how she instructs him to do that. Maybe Talk his path is a little bit different than hers. Maybe he's gonna pass her up in life by knowing his multiplication tables. Maybe he ain't gotta draw little tally marks and shit in order to figure out that six times five is 30. It don't matter how Thank you get. 30 out of 6 times 5. It don't matter if you just know it. Or it's like 6 times 5. 30. It don't matter if you draw a little tally marks and count them. It don't matter if you draw a bunch of 6s and connect the dots and do that common core bullshit. It doesn't matter. You get 30. So guess what's happening this morning? There's a parent-teacher conference up at the school with my little nephew. And guess who's going? Uncle Zach. 
I done told his daddy he better not show his ass up there. I'm going to talk to his teacher. I am more <laughs> Bro, I'm Team Zach Heavily, bro. I rock with him heavily. It doesn't matter how you get there as long as you get the right answer. That's all that should matter. And I'm no educator. I don't know what's behind all of it. But I'm Team Zach on this. I'm Team Zach, bro. I can't stand that. Told his daddy he better not show his ass up there. I'm going to talk to this teacher. I am more than hot. You ain't finna fail my nephew because he got the right answers. All because you on some kind of power trip. Because you ain't got no control over your own damn household at home. So you go to school, to your job, and think that you're going to run the damn whole damn classroom like the military like everything gotta be done the way you want to do my little dude is smart he knows all them answers he got all them answers himself you're not fitting to fail him i'm about to raise holy hell in this damn little teacher parent teacher conference i'm on the car rider list don't let me in i'm going I'm, I'm, I'm gonna look her square in the face square in the face i'm gonna tell her i'm gonna say so you telling me right now that if you told him a way to become a millionaire and he didn't follow that right there he didn't follow your exact path on how to become a millionaire, but he still become a millionaire. That it doesn't fucking count. That Thank it, you, it, it, bro. That, that's not a real thing. That money, you, you, you got to give it back. No, right answer is the right answer. Mm -hmm. so I'm so fucking mad right now. I, bro, I feel you, bro. I feel Ooh, you. How much? What time is it? Seven thirty. I got an hour for this parent teacher conference. It's about to go down. Oh <laughs> shit. <laughs> I got y'all, I got y'all part two. It'll come soon. Probably won't come tomorrow, but it'll come soon, guys. I got you. Well, I I feel Zach's anger. I feel his frustration on that one because that's that's BS. That's BS. Like, because when I was growing up, you had the flashcards. We memorized our timetable up to 12. I know every single timetable off the back of my head up to 12, right? Uh, and so you shouldn't have to, I shouldn't have to write six dots, six times five, six dots over here, circle it, six dots over here, circle it, and then connect the dots and count all that. No, I, it's too much work. I don't need to do that. Some kids might need to do that and that's okay for them, but I don't. That's all I'm saying. That's all. If you see me doing great on my homework and my tests are horrible, right, then you might, you might say something, but right. If I get the right answer on the test and the homework and everything good, I'm, I just know my stuff. That's it. Congratulations, you did your job as a teacher. I know it. But that's all I got for this. So if you guys got a favorite song or artist or, or anything that you want to see or hear me react to, please don't hesitate to drop it in the comment section. That's why the comment section is there. Also, before you go, make sure you hit subscribe. You ring that notification bell, give a video a thumbs up so it gets suggested guys. Got social media, hatred on the corners, put all the links down in the description. You want to subscribe, all you gotta do is hit the link. Find them, talk to me. Shoot me. I talk back. <laughs> and I love talking to you guys. You guys are the most incredible team on YouTube. See what you need. Out.